My name is Bernie Gibson. Um, I've been coming to Maiden Lane for about nine months. I need an hour and a half to start where my life was and why I lost my dad, my sister, and my wife. Okay, um, you know, my dad was on my sister's birthday. My sister was on Thanksgiving Day, and my wife was Christmas morning. And I had, I was mad because I had to do CPR on all three, and all three died on my hands. So I live with this. I still go to counseling court now. I was mad. I hated everybody. I was drinking, smoking. Girl, there was nothing I was not doing. Um, that is when I found Debbie, and that's what led me here. Um, we went to a couple different churches, and we ended up coming here, and everybody, Alan and Peggy, we've known, and they welcomed us to their house, made us lasagna, and it kind of just got started from there. And I was given a little percentage to God. Um, and then when I decided, I asked Deb, I said, you know, when is a good time to get baptized? Because you'll know. You guys, were, they were all singing. He stopped one day and come out on stage, and he, I lost everything in here. It was weird. I, everything blocked out, and it went to him. And it was like he pointed at me and says, if you're not willing to give 100%, then you're wasting your time with God. And when it got done, I looked at Deb, and she goes, why are you shaking? I was like, I just lost everything in this church, and all I could hear was him. And that's when I talked you out there right after and said, you know, I need to do this. And then since then, it's, um, you know, I was talking to Mike up in the class um, about tithing and all that. I said, Mike, I can't explain. I don't know what it is, but, you know, we're finding out ways to give more. And now we got more coming. Not in money. Not in money. In different things, okay? Friday, I found 80 bucks out in Myers parking lot. I go inside. And I'm like, hey, this is a great thing. What happens at the register? The lady in front of me with two kids, her car was declined for $77.83. So guess what? I give her the $80, all right? So then I get home and here comes the mail that day. Well, she's getting ready to have a procedure or getting ready to do her eyes. They just, I get a $100 credit, a check back for $100 from the insurance. And I'm sitting there going, I've never got money back from the insurance, you know, you more. And I'm like, what is going on? Well, overpayment. So I went from buying 80 to giving the 80 to the lady at Myers, and then I get home and I got a check for 100. This is the stuff that's going on. I, you know, I just can't explain. And I don't want to know because it's awesome. You know what I mean? Because it's not in just money. It's, but the, I can't explain the tithing and everything else we're doing. It, it comes in different ways, in different forms. Everybody's different, I guess. But you know, I gave everything up for Jesus, but I know I'm just a small percentage. And I can't wait 10 years from now what it's going to be, you know? Because I don't think you get it all, you know, you got to work at it. I, that's just how I, I'm feeling it.